Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a glitch effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So essentially, it's going to look something like this. As you can see, we have the background glitching as well as the text glitching. It's actually a really cool and versatile effect, so let's get started. First thing we do is import our footage. This is footage that I use in my course. If you want to check that out, check out the link in the description below. It's a course that teaches you on a tutorial-based system all the way from beginner to advanced in Premiere Pro. Really, really awesome set of tutorials in there. Anyway, once you import this in, we need to create ourselves some text. And let me just go ahead and delete the effects off this so we start fresh. So whatever your footage is, start fresh. And then I went ahead and just wrote present day. Now the font I am using is gonna be Rockwell Extra Bold. And I went ahead and indented so that it looked good. You'll see that it's center on the left over here. I'm going to go down into the center align text button and that's going to center the text. Then I can click both these buttons to center it both horizontally and vertically so it's perfectly in the center. Then if you wanna make it bigger or smaller, you can do that. We can make it, for example, really big this time. I have a stroke of 37 on here just to give it a little outline, uh, set it off a little bit, but maybe 21 looks a little cleaner. Once we have our text set up, we're gonna look for a single effect to get this going, and that's gonna be called VR Digital Glitch. We drag and drop that onto our text, and you're gonna see it immediately glitches it. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff over here that we can do. For example, the POI scale shows you like how much of it you wanna glitch, basically um, as like a circle, or I think it's a square, uh, maybe a circle, uh, from the center outwards. The aspect, the reason that you have these two things is because this is a VR effect. So if you're creating VR-based content, you may want to change, for example, the point of interest, the scale, and the aspect ratio, you know, in 3D space. We're not really bothered with that for this 2D, for using this on a 2D effect. So really what we want to work with is our master amplitude, our random seed, and then our distortion and noise. So these are going to be really the things that control this. For example, if I bring up the color distortion, you see that it, the color distortion comes up a little bit. Then we have these different geometries for uh, the the glitching. One of these is, of course, it's gonna be X, Y, and Z. Um, Z is gonna bring it towards you in space. So again, unless you're in a VR, that's not really gonna help. But here we can control how much of this we want. I'm gonna add just a little bit of glitch. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate this master amplitude. So start where you want it to start. Click the toggle animation button, move forward maybe a couple of frames here and then we're just gonna bring it up to 100. You can see that I already am at 100, so I'm going to jump back and let's zoom on this so we can see the keyframes a little better. We're gonna start at zero, and then it's gonna start. We're gonna let it look glitchy for a little while, maybe about five frames. Then we're gonna bring it down just a little bit, go forward a couple frames, bring it back up, go forward a couple frames, bring it back down, forward, all the way up, and then a couple more frames, bring it all the way back down. And what this is gonna do is just create a basic sort of uh, little glitch going on. So it's gonna like come in, you're gonna see it here. See how it uh, it basically bounces, it makes it look a little bit more random. And then also what I like to do is while it's doing this, if you go down to the random seed, make sure that the seeds are cycling as well. This will make sure that when it comes out, it isn't just recreating the exact same thing over and over and over again. It's creating different realms of distortion. As you can see there, now it looks a little bit more um, intense as the distortion comes through. And that makes that distortion look really good. You can also drag this down onto the text, or I mean, onto the footage beneath it. And you can see that it does really good to glitch this out as well. And we can do the exact same thing here. We just go down. We start our animation at zero, move forward a couple frames here, drag it all the way up, move forward a couple frames down, move forward a couple frames up, and then we're just gonna go back down here. And now you'll see that when we play this back, that we have ourselves just a little glitch happening in the background as well. And that makes it, you know, that sort of ties these two together, like the entire thing is glitching a little bit in different ways. Overall though, in here, there's a lot more controls. There's transform, There's you can scale things and the noise, there's a whole bunch of other controls in there as well. So this is the basics of it. Really just have fun and, and go at it and you can create some amazing glitch effects from just this VR digital glitch. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you would like to learn more about Premiere Pro, check out my course in the link below, the description below. It'll take you right to the course page. It is a fantastic, 
course that will teach you Premiere Pro from the basics all the way up in a tutorial-based manner. What that means is that you're not going to just be learning theory. Every single lecture is going to be a tutorial that you are going to be able to uh, basically have a new skill at the end of that tutorial. So you're going to start with small skills and just go up to bigger and bigger skills. Thanks, and until next time, see ya.